Artists, today I'm going to start to color my gemstone. I have my analogous, my, my value scale practice paper. I've got my piece I drew from last class. And now essentially I need to take my pencils that I've chosen and I'm going to blend in sections of my piece using the value scale paper that I have here. So for my middle section, I left empty. I didn't break it into triangles. So I'm shading almost on a curve here, going dark, medium, light. And then I can even use another darker version of a green or perhaps even a black to go over top, dark, medium, light to white. The key is in each section that you are shading, whatever you drew with your triangles or the middle, is that you are changing your use of pressure. This will look three-dimensional and if it has those cuts by if you are using that value scale. So in a triangle space, I'll take my true green, I'll outline an edge, and then I need to pick somewhere to start. doesn't matter if I'm going in the middle or one of the sides, but let's say I go from one of the points. I'm pressing hard, dark, medium, light to white, and letting it be the highlight of the paper. Or maybe I'm actually going to use some white then coming, just like I did here, from the opposite end white, medium, light. Check that out. So I had my color, dark to light, and then my white, pressing hard, getting lighter. Say I want to do an area though with an analogous color. So again, I'm going to grab my true green. Maybe against this edge again, I'm going to shade here, dark, medium, light, Blend it into my paper. And now I'm coming from that other corner with more of a yellow, dark, medium, light. I can even use a white to pick up highlight in there as well. You can use three colors in one space. I repeat this process over my entire gemstone always using my main color, my dominant color, which was my true green. And then I'm either adding an analogous color, a same color, this time just a green, only a dark green, or I'm working in with a white. I haven't used any black yet because black is a color that I always use sparingly for an area that I want with shadow. So if I do want to use a little bit of black, I just do the tiniest touches to create a shadowed piece. Too much, and what you're going to do is you're going to turn your artwork gray. It's better if you want to make something darker to use um, a, the same version of the color, only a darker version, like a darker green here, or an analogous color that would be more on the darker spectrum. So if I was using my blue, I'm going to use a violet. I'm going to continue this process and roll my video students so you can continue to watch how I work around my piece and I shade from one end of my, my triangular prisms here that I've made on my piece and I'm going to create this overall look. So watch how this evolves as I continue to color. Adding in shadows, adding in highlights. 